Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and assalamu alaikum. This is Muhammad Atif. This is a summary of today's second lesson. Today we have started uh, lesson five, unit nine English student books. And this is a poem, Mom won't make me keep a rabbit. Before we started the lesson, I have discussed the lesson objectives with the class. These are the lesson objectives on your screen right now. Listening, listen to a poem, listen and match, identify rhyming words, identify the situation, speaking activity, discuss a poem, reading activity, read a poem, writing activity, complete sentences, critical thinking, predict value, taking care of animals, and uh, language focus, rhyming words, alliteration so <laughs> and i've discussed some vocabulary words as well so these are the vocabulary words all vocabulary words are related to the name of animals so i bought pictures of those animals birds reptiles amphibians and fish so they can understand what like what uh, they look like Okay, so porcupine, this is a porcupine. Second one, water rat, it's a water rat. Pigeon, snail, kangaroo, wallabies, rattlesnake, mamba, wombat, iguana, jellyfish bumblebee airwig maggot flea wildebeest mullard tap chick Piranha, octopus, water hog. So these are the animals okay, that we are going to discuss in today's poem. And we already discussed it in the lesson. So after that, I've discussed, started with lesson five, activity to read and listen, page number 134. So I included the track 53, find the animals from the poem in the pictures. And I asked the students to identify all the animals poet discussed in this poem. I'm gonna include the track so you can also complete it as well. Track, track 53. Mom won't let me keep a rabbit by Brian Patton. Mum won't let me keep a rabbit. She won't let me keep a bat. She won't let me keep a porcupine or a water rat. I can't keep pigeons and I can't keep snails. I can't keep kangaroos or wallabies with nails. She won't let me keep a rattlesnake or a viper in the house. She won't let me keep a mamba or its meal, a mouse. She won't let me keep a wombat and it isn't very clear why I can't keep iguanas, jellyfish or deer. I can't keep a cockroach or a bumblebee. I can't keep an earwig, a maggot or a flea. I can't keep a wildebeest and it's just my luck. I can't keep a mallard, a dab chick or a duck. She won't let me keep piranhas, toads or even frogs. She won't let me keep an octopus or muddy water hogs. So out in the garden, I keep a pet ant and up in the attic, Ah. Okay, so that was the track so that we read this poem as well. And then I asked the students to identify and tell me the names of these animals that they can see in the pictures. So the students answer the question and then I displayed them the answers as well. There are the answers on the screen right now.
and we discussed the third activity. Third activity is about what is the secret pet name? What animal does the poet keep in the attic? Reorder the letters to find out. So I asked the students to find out the letters. So they put a mirror in front of their screen so they can find out the word and then they tell me the answers. Here are the answers on your screen right now. Secret elephant. After that, uh, we have discussed the next activity. Next activity is about uh, pronunciation. Okay, I asked them to find words in the poem which rhyme with these animals. Then listen and check. So then we discuss these words and the rhyming words. So you can find the word bat in the first verse. So bat goes with rat and snails go with, goes with nails. House go, goes with mouse. Okay. And uh, clear goes with deer. <clears throat> Bumblebee rhyme with flea and luck rhyme with duck. Frog rhyme, rhyme with water holes. So the students answer the question and then I display them as well. Uh, the answers on your screen right now. After that, we have discussed the next activity. This activity is about animal types. We have a chart in which we have five different types of animals, mammals, insects, birds, amphibians at times. I asked them to find all these types of animals within this poem. So the students bifurcate them, put them into the in this table, and then I displayed them the answers as well. So here are the answers on your screen right now. <coughs> this is the table. You can also complete it as well. Then we have discussed the next activity on page number 137. And this is the activity related to read and listen. We can listen to these examples of animal alliteration match with the correct illustration. What do you notice about the word? So these are the two different questions. So I asked them to uh, read this and then I just play the track as well. I'm gonna play track 55. the lucky lion laughed loudly as he leaped over Lucy the lazy lizard while she lovingly licked a lemon lollipop. Two. Charlie the cheerful cheetah chose to chew cheese and cherries as he chomped his chops. So that was the track and then students matched these uh, illustrations and illustrations with these pictures. And then they also uh, discussed uh, what uh, they have noticed about the words. So then I discussed the answers as well. And here are the answers on your screen right now. First activity nine. Illustration one goes with picture B and illustration two goes with picture A. Here's the answer, like the, the main words all starts with the same sound. So that was the today's last lesson. Thank you very much for your participation. Have a good day.